Measure and mark plywood 18 millimeters with width 300 millimeters. I cut using my ultimate track saw. Then, I cut again with size 600 millimeters times 300 millimeters. I will add drawer slides. Measure the drawer slides using vernier caliper. Measure and mark the plywood to place the drawer slides. Use router to make the slot to place drawer slides. Cut two pieces plywood with size 60 mm x 600 mm. Then, place at the bottom of the slots made before. Put the drawer slides on the slots made before. Make sure to put it on the right position and the angle is 90 degrees. Cut 6 pieces plywood 18 mm with size 60 mm x 600 mm. Measure and mark to add holes. Then drill the mark using spade bit 25 mm. Cut 4 pieces pipe 3 fourths inches with length 250 millimeters. I try to put the pipe into the hole but it doesn't fit. Then, I grinder the hole. Glue two pieces plywood and clamp it. Put pipe into the holes made before. Assemble all the plywood cuts with the base using glue and nail.
cut two pieces plywood with size 600 mm x 120 mm. Measure the edge of plywood. Then, cut the edge with angle 45 degrees. Assemble all the plywood cut on the extension base. I take my old DIY miter slide. Take a parts it, then use few parts of it. I take the hinge, then drill all the holes with size 6 millimeters. Give paper tape on the base of circular saw. Take the hinge, then give mark. Then drill the mark using drill bit 6 millimeters. Put the hinge at the bottom of the circular base. Then lock using M6 bolt. Measure the L-shaped metal with size 160 mm. Then, cut it. Measure and cut the square metal 20 times 20 with length 270 mm. Grinder the edge of the square metal, so it can be fitted into L-shaped metal. Give paper tape on L-shaped metal for marking easily. Then drill the mark using drill bit 6mm. Mark and drill L-shaped metal. Put square metal on the L-shape. Use speed square to check the angle and write 90 degrees. Give super glue to lock temporary. Give mark on the hole on the L-shape metal made before. Drill the mark. Put the square metal on the L shape, then lock it using M6 bolt. Cut two pieces HMR with size 83 mm x 30 mm. Glue it together. Then, grinder the edge. Put HMR on the L shape. 
then, give the mark to make holes. I give M6 T-nut into HMR. Put back HMR on the L-shape. Then, screw hinge on the L-shape. Put back the circular saw on the hinge and lock it. Put circular saw on the base. Cut two pieces HMR with size 210 mm x 60 mm. Cut two pieces another HMR with size 210 mm x 90 mm. Then, assemble all the cuts of HMR together as one. Mark the base for placing HMR. Put circular saw on the HMR for making slots. Cut another HMR with size 30mm x 90mm. Assemble it with the HMR cut before. Use super glue to stick the HMR on the drawer slide for temporary to give mark. Drill the mark and lock using screw. Mark the square metal to make three holes. Drill the square metal and make slot on HMR. Put the square metal on the slot made before, then drill it. Add T-nut into the holes. Assemble all parts. I give spring on the circular saw for smooth movement. Drill and add T-nut to lock the spring. Now, I try the miter slide.
Use square frame for guiding the fence's position. Cut two pieces HMR with size 40 mm x 200 mm, then, assemble two pieces HMR as one. I make round shape on one side. Give mark and drill using drill bit 6 mm. Place HMR on the base, then drill the base. Add T-nut into the hole. Drill on another side for locking the fence. I also make the fence with angle 45 degrees. Now, try cut MDF 18 mm with width 40 mm. The result is perfectly square and precision. I cut long MDF 18 mm. Clean cut and perfectly square shaped. Maximum cutting area 330 mm. I use extension base for cutting long MDF. Easy for handle cut wide MDF. Now try to cut with angle 45 degrees. The result is clean cut and perfect.